Okay, uh, we will continue for the uh, part of the VAT in the part of the uh, compliance in tax administration for the wet taxpayer that they have the duty for preparation of the documentation for supporting to the uh, mechanism of the calculation. Okay. Um, since you have know that uh, the role and responsibility of the taxpayer for the corporate uh, for the value added tax uh, for one for one wet resistance is that the first one is when they have the tax point for the uh, their their tax revenue even for the kind of the selling of the product or the providing of the service in each uh, transaction they have to prepare for the documentation that we call the tax invoice for uh, to their customer or the buyer as an evident for claiming of the input value. In the position of the seller, we use the tax invoice for their documentation to prove of the output VAT too. After that, uh, for one of the taxpayer, in each month they have to calculate for their uh, VAT liability on monthly basis and as this, as I already uh, uh, explained to you, that in, in each month, uh, one VAT resistance, a VAT resistance, they have to calculate for their tax, uh, uh, their VAT liability by summarize of the output VAT that have the tax point in the month, minus with the input VAT that they have the tax point in the, in the month. Okay, uh, that will be become the VAT liability of the month. However, if it is overpaid, that is mean input VAT is over output VAT. It can be refund. How the the refunding can be refund in kind of the credit cash uh, credit refund or the cash refund. After that, uh, after they calculate for their VAT liability in each month, they have to uh, submit the tax return, the the VAT return form that we on monthly basis that we call the form PP30 within the 15 in the following tax month. Okay. Uh, this will summarize for all of the output VAT and all of the input that that is deductible in the calculation of the month okay and this have uh, to be submit on monthly basis and if we if it has any correction of the information in the tax return form the additional form of the month shall be submitted to to correct the information to correct the date the, the uh, tax base or, uh, or the um, amount of the tax in each in each month and also, they have to prepare the VAT report for the summary of summary of the output VAT report and the input VAT report. That is the minimum requirement for the preparation. However, if they sell the product and the product is a VAT product, they have to prepare another report that we call the stock report. This report will be prepared on a um, monthly basis and it shall be prepared on uh, the based on the number of the business office okay if you remember on the registration when the taxpayer they have to uh, they are required to register themselves as the water resistant they have to, to register the press of the business to that is the business office if they have the head office that is one one of the press and if they have another branch they have to register all branch that they have as a press of business so the report will be prepared based on the press of business okay and so example a head uh, for the head of it they prepare for one set one set of the report for input that report output that report and stock report if any if they have another press of of business but for example they have the branch for branch number one the set the second set of the report for the branch will be prepared for output VAT, input VAT, and stock report of the branch. Okay, so this report will be prepared on monthly basis and based on the price of business. How many number of the price of business the report will be prepared for that set number for number of sets according to the price of business. And another one is that for the last one for keeping the tax invoice and the report for the investigation as in evidence at least five years for the for the investigation that is the big big uh according to the tax law and the uh, accounting law for the uh, keeping of the document for for any investigation that 
maybe. Okay, so these are the low and responsibility of the tax payer or the or AVAT resistance for the VAT. Okay. Uh, so as the role and responsibility that show to you uh, is summarized to be your understanding for this picture. Okay. If we assume that the transaction is about the wet resistance for Mr. A, who is the wet resistance, and B is the buyer, that is the wet resistance too. Okay, in this case, we assume that both of buyer and seller is the wet resistance. A is the seller of the computer. The value of the computer is 10,000 baht. A sell to B, the B is the buyer. So at the tax point, this is the selling of the computer. So is this the uh, selling of the product, sell of the goods. So the tax point is will be based uh, on the day that the seller deliver the product, deliver the, the goods to the buyer. How, however, if they have any activity that incur in the areas before the delivery, the tax point will be shipped to the, the day that the activ activity incurs. For example, that if, they, the, if Mr. A are uh, issued the tax invoice before the delivery. Okay, the tax point will be moved from the delivery point to be at the, the at the time that the tax invoice is issued. Okay, but in this case, uh, on the general case, um, a in this uh, a as a value stand deliver the product and sell the computer deliver on the same day to B as a buyer. Okay, at this tax point. A required to issue the tax invoice and giving to B for the evidence for B, okay, and B uh, will use this tax invoice for proving the number of the input tax that they have already paid to the revenue department via A, who is the very resistant that they have the duty to collect the VAT from the buyer, okay. So A, when they prepare for the tax invoice, at least two copies that they have to prepare for the, the one is the original tax invoice and another one is a copy. For the original tax invoice, A will keep it to B, okay? Because B, they will they have to claim as an input tax. The document for proving that of the input tax they have, it must use the original one, not to be copied. Unless if the uh, original tax invoice is damaged or lost, we can making the duplicate tax invoice for proving of the number of the input tax. To make it to make the duplicate tax invoice for the copy one, this is allowed for for only the case that the 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 tax invoice is damaged or lost or whatever that is in the case of the in in the in the case of the emergency case or an accidental case. Okay, so um this one. It has the liquidation for the preparation of duplicate tax invoice. Okay, for the seller A, when they giving for the original one to buyer, A will keep the copy. This copy is will be called as the output tax invoice. A has the duty to keep this copy of the tax invoice and use this one for the preparing of the output VAT report. In case of B, when B received the original one, original one is used for the claiming of the input tax. As same as B, as the status of the buyer, and they are what resistant, they are required to prepare the report that we call input tax report. Okay, and keep the original one as the evidence for proving of the number and together for the summarize of the report for the input tax. Okay, these are the mechanism of the compliance for the tax administration of the taxpayer for one VAT resistance as a status of the seller and buyer. So one one VAT resistance can be both of the seller and buyer. So this duty, this this response this responsibility will be include will be uh, the total of the responsibility of one VAT resistance. Okay. So tax invoice, what are they? Tax invoice is uh, the documentation for proving of the number of the output or input, okay, uh, uh, as a tax for the submission that has been collected uh, by between the party in the transaction. So we can prove, we can say that the doc, the document that we call 
tax invoice will be issued every time at the transaction of the sales or the provision of the service that has the tax point uh, has incurred the resistance must okay that the that resistance must prepare the doc, this document okay the tax invoice is used as evidence for claiming of the input tax by the buyer and is is used for the uh, the evidence for uh, submission of the output tax by the seller it will be the same number as it can be cross checked in the system okay uh, the required element to be contained in the tax invoice is are required according to the type of the tax invoice. The number of the tax invoice we have four types. In general case, okay, that are the first one we call full tax invoice. Second one is a summary tax invoice or the tax invoice ABB. ABB is stand for the abbreviation, okay. And the third one is a debit note. The fourth one is a credit note. These are four types of the tax invoice. However. In, in special case for the case of the tax uh, the submission of the number of the VAT based on the transaction that here lands at the custom here lands for the custom department it will have another receipt that is issued by the government we call it as the receipt for the payment of the here lands for and we receive for the payment of the VAT that one is also be the tax invoice by the law however uh, it will be special one that has the form under the, the law for governing of the custom department or the law custom for the uh, the revenue department that will not be covered in this in this slide in this uh, in this script we will focus on the script that the taxpayer has the duty for the preparation that is that are the full tax invoice summary tax invoice and debit note and credit note okay the full tax invoice okay the full tax invoice is has the uh, mandatory required particular or required element item that should be present and show in the tax invoice okay that are the first one the, the word of the tax invoice the second one name address tax identification number of the issuer and the third one for the name address tax identification of the uh, customer or the purchaser the fourth one no dominate that is this the head of it or branch of the purchaser Okay, in, and also for the um, seller to the, the fifth one is the serial number of the tax invoice and the tax invoice book if it's uh, if for their designing for the sequential for the reference of the tax invoice when they have to giving to the customer and is have something that they have to making the new one they, that will have the, the number to cl make cross reference. However, the this serial numbers should be sequential. Because if it is skip the number uh, and has no any explanation for this one, it will be it may be treat that uh, some of the VAT or some of the in uh, the tax base does not report correctly. Okay, that is the internal control of the uh, number of the uh, of the tax invoice. Okay, uh, the sixth one is the description, value, and quantity of the goods or service. Second one, uh, the, the seventh one is the amount of the VAT. Amount of the VAT calculate on the value of the goods. This value of the goods or service is, is, the, is, is the tax base. Okay, so this, the value of the goods or service will be varied to the type of the activity that the taxpayer have. And this one will be the base for the calculation of the VAT and it must show the number of the VAT. It must show the number of the VAT, the VAT as the amount of VAT uh, clearly present in the tax invoice. And the, the, this one will be referent to the output tax report by the seller and referent to the input tax report of the purchaser. This one should be carried separately present from the, num the value of the goods or the service. And the eighth one is the date of the issuance of the tax invoice. This date shall be the date that the tax point incur. Okay, so these are the required elements for the tax invoice for the full tax. Another additional requirement for the full tax invoice is that the content that present in the tax invoice shall be the Thai language or English language. If they would like to present in other language, it is it is not allowed except that they request for the approval from the director general of the revenue department. The currency should be shown in Thai baht. 
other currency is not allowed except they have the uh, approval from the revenue department. And they, however, when they present as the other currency, but a number of the VAT shall be calculated as a Thai baht using the exchange rate correctly for the exchange rate that will be used will be applied the exchange rate of the of the debt that the tax uh, the tax point incur. Okay, so uh, this one is very important because the exchange rate in each day is has the different one. So the tax point of incur in which day they have to check the exchange rate that announced by the commercial bank correctly for that date and uh, convert that currency into Thai baht for presenting and submitting of the number of the VAT. Okay. Other particular item that is required is that the, ta the word tax invoice, okay, the word tax invoice, name, address, tax identification of the issuer shall be preprint. Okay, preprint from the printing press or the computerized system if the tax invoice is wholly preparation by computer computer. Okay. Another one is that the tax invoice serial number should be in sequential. Okay. These are the requirements for the tax invoice for the full tax. Okay. Another one for the summary tax invoice or the tax invoice abbreviation. Okay. In the picture is show you for the example of the uh, summary tax invoice okay the word tax invoice is uh, the word tax invoice abb should be present as in a prominent prominent press name short name and taxpayer identification number of the registrant for the issuing the tax invoice serial number of the tax invoice and or the patch if any if any name category type quantity and value of the good and service and this one is this not required to present the number of the VAT separately. Okay, but it must be show the word what include. Okay, it must show the word what include in, in this price. Okay, it's, it's not required to uh, present for the number of the VAT separately. Okay, the price of the goods or the service shall be expressed in the statement for the value added tax has been included and the date of the issuance of the tax invoice. These are the requirements for the uh, tax invoice abbreviation. Okay, this you can see that it's this it has the different uh, element required for the uh, full tax invoice and summary tax invoice. And this is a, uh, the, a reason that why the summary tax invoice cannot use as the document for proving the input tax. It means that uh, when we compute for the VAT liability in each month, one condition for the deductible input tax is that the tax in, the taxpayer or the VAT registrant should have the document to prove, and that document shall be the full tax invoice. Because you can see that the summary tax invoice is does not present for the uh, purchaser name or purchaser tax identification, and it does not show for the number of the VAT included. These are these are, uh, these are the reason that why one condition of the non-deductible input tax is the tax invoice does not present for the full tax, but uh, the the tax invoice in the app tax invoice in the form of the tax invoice abbreviation is cannot be used. Okay, although it's related to the business carry on of the water resistance or the taxpayer. Okay, the difference is that. The first one, the summary tax invoice can be issued by the registrant who sell the goods or providing the service as a retail to or to large number of the customer. Okay, so these are the uh, difference between full tax and summary tax. The second one is that to be able to issue the summary tax invoice, the registrant must get the permission from the revenue department. So it means that in every in Every VAT registrant, first of all, they are required to issue the, the full tax invoice only. However, if they can prove that their business is uh, selling the large number of the customer or it, they are selling the as a retail to the large number of the customer. So this one, uh, they have to get the approval. Okay, The full tax invoice can be claimed as an input tax. But the summary tax invoice cannot use for claiming. OK, 
okay? These are the tests of your understanding for the calculation, uh, sorry, for the characteristic of the full, full text void. In this, I will uh, let you to analyze each of transaction to uh, not, uh, answer that is this a full text void that can be claimed for the input text or not. Just ignore for the other elements such as name, address. Just focus on the description. Just focus on the the well, uh, the description and the transaction activity that should be shown. Okay. So uh, for the first one, this one can be used as a full text invoice for claiming of the input tax by the taxpayer or not. Okay. And this one, the second one, can it be claimed? To be used as a tax invoice or not? What is the difference? Okay, the third. Sorry, the third one too. This one is can be can be used or not? Okay, so check your understanding for this for for the uh, your understanding of the full tax invoice. When they are making the selling of the uh, product by the wet resistance, is this required by the law that when they uh, advise the price to the buyer, the tax, the tax price, if you uh, such, uh, observe that when you're going to the convenience store, okay, when you're going to the convenience store, the product on the shelf, when you select it for buying, the price that you, that you uh, look into the tax price, is this required to set uh, to show that the price that they would like to sell to you, the the seller sell to you, is is include that or not? If it is not, uh, quote that uh, the the number of this price is ex exclude that, okay? That has no the word exclude that in the tax price. By the law, we can assume that. The, the price that they charge is already included. That. Okay, so that's that is the re, uh, the the law for uh, order the seller to show the price when they sell the uh, when they would like to sell the product to the customer. They must show the price that is already included. That. However, if they don't show the amount of the included. That, the price that is shown is just only the product cost or the value of the goods or service. Must is the the tax the value that must show the word exclude that clearly. In that case, the buyer must add on for the number of the VAT from the uh, the price that show in the tax price and add on for uh, another. 7% in this case, or uh, uh, currently is 7%, if they have to add on another 7%, that will be the value that they have to pay for this, this cost of the product or the service. Okay, these are the requirements by the law. Another one for the type of the tax invoice, that, uh, that is the debit note. When, when, they, when the value stand sell the product, sometimes it has some of the accidental, accidental case for changing of the number of the product or changing the number of the product, uh, the value of the transaction, because it has the changing of the uh, number to, to, to be sold, or it may have the change, uh, the um, qualification of the product. Okay, so that one may be result in addition of the charging of the output back from the Tax invoice that they have already issued on the tax point. Okay, so the reason for increasing of the number of the output that is is because of uh, that has the increasing of the amount from uh, the agreed upon amount on the first day on the on the delivery under the calculation of the actual goods amount that they have delivered or they have made the sum of the changing from that that order. Okay. And the second one is increasing of the service provide from agree upon and making the under the calculation for the actual service amount will making the the increasing of the output value of those transaction. In this case, the wear resistance will issue the debit note, and the the buyer will use this debit note as a tax invoice. 
okay, as a tax invoice for claiming of the input tax. In this case, we will not issue the new tax invoice because it will refer to the same uh, transaction that already issued the tax invoice on the first day that they have the tax point. Okay, the requirement element of the debit note are the first one, the word debit note. Okay, the second one, name, address, and taxpayer identification number of the VAT resistant or the seller. The third one, name, address of the purchaser and tax identification. Okay, uh, the fourth one, date of issuance that issued the debit note. Number five, serial number of the original tax invoice and of the pad, if any. For the value of the goods or service appearing on the such invoice, the true value of the goods or service and the difference between the two value. And the last one, amount of the VAT that shall be additional collectible. Okay, so it means refer to the refer to the previous tax invoice for the transaction that they would like to charge in addition of the those tax invoice. So we have to refer back. The second one refer that that tax invoice issue uh, issuance how much of the value or the goods or the service show in that in that tax invoice. The third one, the number of the correct one that should be shown in the debit note and the different one, how how the difference between the previous one and the current one. Okay. And the last one show the number of the VAT that it will be additional chart, additional collectible under this uh Tax in, uh, under this debit note. After that, it must have the short explanation. The short explanation for the cost of the issuing of the tax invoice, that is because of the increasing of the product value or the uh, increasing of the service value that will be charged for the another output VAT by the seller. Okay, these are the debit note. And the credit note it is because after because of the after the selling uh, the selling of the product or the uh, service and it has some add some uh, reason that making the number of the VAT decrease from the pre the tax invoice that already issued at the tax point. So the reason may be is because of the first one the price is reduced because goods are defect or the is is short form. Uh, the number that indicate in the tax invoice. The reducing of the service amount because the service is does not provide or is, is provide but it does not satisfy to the customer and uh, and the seller and the buyer has the agreed the new one. Okay. The goods were returned and ex and accepted because they are defective or do not correspond to the sam uh, sample or description as the sale condition. And the last one is about that the agreement of the service is terminate. So these are the ex the, the reason that why uh, it has effect to the number of the VAT that is, is uh, collect under the tax invoice has been decreased. So if the transaction has a subsequent, uh, a subsequent activity like this, the seller can issue the credit note and use it as a tax invoice for the for deduction the number of the uh, output VAT, okay, in their calculation. Credit note, the requirement are the word credit note, second one, name, address, and taxpayer identification for of the resistance, name, address of the purchaser, date of issuance, the fifth one, serial number for the original tax invoice. The value of the goods or the service from the appear on the tax invoice, the, 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 the tax invoice that already issued. The number of the correct value under the credit note, the different one, and the number of the VAT that will be refunded on this different by the seller or the buyer. And the last one. It shall have the short explanation for the reason why it issued the credit note, and that reason shall be relevant to this requirement, this condition. So these are the 
the fourth one for the credit note. Okay, in real case, this is the case to ask you that can the uh, wet resistance issue the credit note for deduction of the output wet or not. Okay, the, the, the fact is that ABC company issued the tax invoice for selling of the goods for 10 units. And on delivery date, on delivery date, the customer received the 10 unit of the com, uh, of the goods and it's found that it has a defect for two units. So therefore ABC issued a credit note because it has a, it is under the reason of the issuance of the credit note. However, unintention, unintentionally, ABC issued a credit note for three units. It should be two units, but they're making the credit note for three units. Okay, so in this case, can ABC subsequently issue the debit note for one unit to correct the number of the VAT? Okay, the first step on the delivery date, they issue the tax invoice. After that, it's found it has two amount, two unit of the product is defect. So this is the reason. So tax, uh, the credit note should be issued a two for two. However, they issue the tax invoice as a three. So the cor the different one is a seven. But in but in fact, the different it different it should be just only uh, the product that can be charged is is will be a. So in this case, can ABC issue the debit note to increase the amount from seven to a? Okay. Can the the question is that. Can ABC issue the debit note? Okay, try to make in this uh, question answer the correct one under the law, uh, the condition of the law for issuance of debit note and credit note. See you next script.